So we are out here early this morning and my plan today is to rip out all these cucumber plants that are about spent and plant yard long beans because my weather is so hot that I just think that yard long beans will do great in this really hot and humid environment since they like subtropical tropical environments. So that's what my plan. I've never grown <laughs> I've never grown yard long beans before, so I'm excited to see how they grow in my area and what they taste like. So let's get busy. Mazzy, those are hot. Stop. As I'm pulling these plants out, I am finding some mini cucumbers and they're still producing. So I'm leaving the ones that still look decent enough to produce and pulling all the ones that are really small and shriveled and just not growing anymore. This one here I'm leaving to fully ripen to save seeds from. I've never successfully saved seeds from a cucumber before because I don't think I've ever let it ripen enough to do that. So that's what my goal is to do with that cucumber. But I'm still going to grow the beans over these cucumbers and we can still probably harvest beans and cucumbers at the same time on the same trellis, I believe. So because it's about to get really, really hot in my area and I want to make sure I have something growing on my trellis because I just don't like having a bear in the summertime. And these cu cucumbers are, are eventually going to die off. I left a few plants that are still look pretty good and are still producing. But it's going to get so hot and I want something that's going to grow good in my area. And I found some five species mix yard long beans on eBay. Um, I buy lots of seeds from eBay. I found a few um, people that I like to buy from often from there. It might seem sketchy buying seeds from eBay because you always hear you know you should buy from you know reputable sellers. But on there you can read feedback about germination of seeds, the quality, the quality of um, the products. And you can look at their um, ratings on there. And eBay is pretty good about keeping up with, um, you know, making sure people are selling quality products, especially seeds, because you can just the comments alone tells you a lot about what you're going to be buying. And I think it, they look really good. Some of them look a little bit immature, but we'll see what we can get from to grow from these. And I got a 13 foot trellis and a six foot trellis right here that we're gonna just fill up as much as we can. The space on here says nine inches, but I grow my beans closer, especially pole beans. They grow up, so you don't really need to worry about them bushing out. Dad, look how high I'm going. So I'll be growing as many as I can, probably about four or five inches apart. This bed has been kind of not performing as well as it should, especially my cucumbers on the back of this. They were very tiny plants, which they were supposed to be bush, like small bush plants, but they were supposed to grow a little bit more vigorously than they did. So I'm going to come back here with some compost. We were lucky enough to get some free compost Friday, so I'm so excited. The greenhouses, who we got it from, they make their own compost from all their um, plants that are spent at the end of the season. So we, they were kind enough to give us a big truckload and told us we can come back and get any more we want. But anyway, like first okra of the season, I'll be freezing all my okra just to add the soups and stews for extra flavor. But I'm going to come through with compost and then plant more yard long beans. You shouldn't walk in your raised beds is a number one rule, but I need to get back here to this trellis. I'm just going to plant these pole beans right into the compost. Oops. 
sister's coming the porch. Your sister's coming the porch. Ah. So that is it for today. I've planted three beds on the trail side for this side, and I've planted all of this side with our long beans. And we'll see how they grow. I'm hoping they'll grow excellent in this very humid, hot summer. And that will be it for today. I'm about to wear these in and head inside because it's so hot out here. But um, come back to Daniel's backyard to see more food being grown.